increasingly battered homeland from the advancing Allies. By April 1945, the Allies had crossed the River Rhine in 21 places and were now advancing through fields and cities into the heart of Germany. The race to win the war was on. German forces setting up in a defensive position. By this stage of the war, with tanks becoming ever scarcer, German forces relied more and more on well-concealed anti-tank guns and infantry anti-tank weapons, such as the Panzerfaust, to provide them with protection from the advancing Allied armour. A US tanker conveyed the thoughts of many soldiers during this period. The biggest fear I had was that I would be the last man killed in World War II. After going through all the way, the thought that came to mind at the end was in sight was that some die hard Nazi would fire one last shot for the fear when we had departed. Ladies and gentlemen. Here you can see a U.S. armored force taking up an overwatched position in preparation for an assault on a defended position.
U.S. forces have now called for an airstrike to reduce the German defenders' morale and fighting effectiveness, lowering their ability to resist the coming attack. And confused, the surviving German defenders reoccupy their firing positions, clearing debris from fire lanes in anticipation of the coming U.S. assault.
even in the last days of the Third Reich, German forces could still be a dangerous foe, as German military doctrine emphasized the need to immediately counterattack a lost position, meaning that the US forces have little time to prepare themselves for the inevitable attack. beaches of Normandy to the bombed out cities of the Third Reich. Allied forces had raced through Germany, occupying her towns and cities and famously meeting their Soviet allies at the River Elbe. The long feared German redoubt had failed to materialize and Hitler was finally dead. Germany's new government quickly accepted unconditional surrender and hostilities ceased at midnight on Tuesday the 8th of May 1945. The war in Europe was finally over. That brings the battle to a, to a close, ladies and gentlemen, and we will leave the last words to a troop leader from the Royal Scots Greys, Mr. Murray Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, hello there. It's Murray Walker here, and I'm talking to you because the superb tank fest is very close to my heart on account of the fact that I was a tank commander with the Royal Scots Greys in World War II. Now you've seen a wonderful display of armour today, from serving soldiers showing their modern vehicles to rare historic items from the museum, privately owned vehicles, and the battle recreating some of the scenes from the recent Fury film, starring Brad Pitt and our very own Sherman tank from the museum. So it seems very appropriate for us now to remember that our enjoyment today and the liberties we enjoy in this country come at a cost. 
There are veterans here who've lost friends and serving soldiers who've recently seen combat. Another generation.